I'd like to, to uh, come back to the Swiss financial sector. Uh, on this uh, slide, uh, there is the, uh, the gross value added of, of the whole financial sector in Switzerland. So it's a part of uh, the financial industry uh, in GDP. Uh, and you see that uh, it's quite substantial. It's more, much more than 10% of GDP that is created by, by the financial, financial sector. About two-thirds of this uh, value added is, is um, uh, created by, by banks and one-third uh, by, by insurance companies. The main feature of, of the Swiss financial industry is the importance of the two big banks, UBS and Credit Suisse. They have about 30% of domestic deposits and loans and in the interbank uh, relations, they are uh, very important. About 60% of all interbank liabilities uh, are with uh, the two big banks. And total assets of Credit Suisse and UBS uh, are about six times of Swiss GDP. That's a huge amount of, um, of, of assets, and that emphasizes the the systemic importance of these uh, two big banks. And uh, we had uh, troubles with UBS. UBS was on the verge of bankruptcy in 2008 and had to be bailed out by, by the government. And all the bad, all the, all the toxic assets uh, were shifted to a bad bank that is now managed by the Swiss Central Bank and the government had to inject capital into UBS uh, and uh, was uh, a shareholder, the main shareholder of about 10% of, of all the shares. But meanwhile, the government um, uh, was able to, to sell its share with a profit and is now uh, no more a shareholder of UBS. But the bad bank still exists and the central bank tries to to liquidate step by step these toxic assets. But there is still a substantial amount of, of these assets in, in the bad bank. The Swiss financial uh, sector employs about 200,000 people. That uh, is about 6% of, of total employment. And the Swiss financial sector uh, is highly uh, focused on asset management. The assets and the management by, by Swiss banks and other financial institutions is about eight times GDP. And the, high, the net experts of the Swiss financial industry, uh, we saw that before uh, uh, in, in, the slide, in the first slide, uh, dealing with uh, the expert numbers. Um, the net exports of the Swiss financial industry is about 4.5% of GDP. And last but not least, the Swiss franc, the currency, is the world's fifth important currency for international loan issues. So that underlines the importance of the Swiss financial sector and the financial center in, in Switzerland. Given the importance of the financial sector and the recent experience uh, in the US with UBS, in Switzerland with UBS, the bailout, um, has led to a financial market policy that was defined by, by the government. And the main objectives uh, are to provide high quality services to the economy. The financial industry is a very important uh, industry that is interlinked with all other sectors of, um, of the economy. And if the, the financial industry is doing badly, that has an impact on the whole economy. The second objective is 
ensure favorable conditions for a high value added financial sector. And third, ensure high degree of system stability and ability to function. That's the consequence of the UBS bailout. We realized that uh, the two big banks uh, pose a systemic risk and something has to be done to, to reduce this risk. And the last point is preserve the integrity and reputation of the Swiss Financial Center. That's also an impact of the UBS, uh, of the UBS case here in the, in, in the US to deal with with uh, issues such as uh, money laundering, tax evasion, and so on. And the government defined four strategic uh, direction for this uh, financial market policy. Uh, first is uh, the improvement of the international competitiveness of the financial sector. The financial sector is uh, very globalized and competition between financial sector is, is, uh, is very tough. Second, securing and enhancing market access. That's a very crucial point because Switzerland is not part of the EU. And for us, it's very important to have market access in the EU, EU and in other countries. And third, strengthening the financial sector's resistance to crisis and dealing with systemically important financial institutions as a result, um, the, we have basically two big banks, and these two big banks are too big to fail. So it's both are systemically important. And the government increased uh, the capital and liquidity requirements substantially. And fourth point, preserving the integrity of the financial sector. This is also a very important uh, direction uh, and that implies also the question how to deal with assets that are in Switzerland from abroad that are non-declared. So assets uh, that haven't been taxed uh, in their home countries and we now have bilateral, uh, bilateral uh, discussions with, uh, with uh, various countries and um, to discuss how to deal with these assets. And um, uh, recently, the government, our government decided to start negotiations with the UK and Germany. Uh, the goal is to have an agreement how to deal with these uh, non-declared assets. Our proposition is to introduce a withholding tax on these assets and to, to collect taxes for foreign uh, tax authorities. So we would collect taxes and send, send them uh, to their home, home countries. To conclude my remarks, I would like to, to highlight and emphasize once more that the US is a key market for Swiss export industry and for foreign direct investment. And Switzerland is also an important location for the U.S. companies. There are a lot of U.S. companies in, in Switzerland. And uh, there are a couple of advantages to be in Switzerland. Not only tax, taxation, but also the education level of, of the workforce. And also the, the location of Switzerland, the center of, of Europe. Uh, these are all factors that are positive for, for uh, foreign companies to, to, uh, to come to, to Switzerland. And also uh, Switzerland uh, is an interesting market for US companies doing business with, with uh, Switzerland to export uh, uh, their goods to, to Switzerland, especially in areas such as um, high-tech products or, or, or health, health products. And the last point I would like to, 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 to emphasize is the on the bilateral basis, the financial and tax issues are mainly solved. So uh, uh, several bigger problems are off the table. 
with the exemption maybe of, of this FATCA, of this Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, uh, that uh, is not only, um, uh, has not only an impact on Swiss financial institutions, but on every financial, foreign financial institution. So thank you very much for your attention.